The Flash is a student form for students produced by students. Students make all content decisions, research, write, shoot, and broadcast news stories they deem important to the ECU community. Stay tuned. What's new, ECU? I'm Katie. And I'm Lizzie. And we're really excited to present you our stories this week. To start, we'll take a look at a winter staple in our community. And then we'll highlight a student who has creativity and passion. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for The Flash. flash. It's been so cold lately. I am not ready for winter. Yeah, but I am excited for winter sports and activities. I've always wanted to try snowboarding. Well, good news for you, Buck Hill just opened. Lindsay has the story. Buck Hill geared up for its grand reopening on Friday, December 1st, promising an array of exciting new additions. There's, there's a lot of new things happening at Buck Hill this season. The biggest one being our brand new Doppelmeyer quad fixed grip chairlift. And we also have a bunch of brand new snow guns. The snow guns are the machines that make snow and new lighting on top of some of our uh, lift towers so people can see at night a lot better. One of the things I'm most excited about opening day is just the preparations that our entire staff has had all summer long to get to opening day. It's it's really exciting to see the, the, the smiling faces, the people coming out for the first time, whether they be novices getting uh, lessons or like the, the veterans that have been coming out here for years and years. The, the excitement in the air during the opening day is, is really high and it's a really good gauge on how the rest of the winter is going to go. Today's opening day, this is December 1st into Friday, and the excitement and the stoke level are through the roof. With all the new changes, there's many thoughts surrounding the start of the new season. Feels good. I'm happy to be back. The snow feels pretty good for the first day, so I'm pretty happy. Amazing that it started. It's pretty nice. It's pretty warm out, but Buck made enough snow the last like week. It's pretty nice. Signing off with the Flash, this is Lindsay. <laughs> Buck Hill looks like a lot of fun. I'd be interested in learning how to snowboard. Snowboarding and skiing isn't really my thing. What do you like to do instead? Well, I like to read and bake, and during COVID, I made jewelry. I've made some jewelry, too. I heard a lot of other students at ECU do that. I've heard that some even made a business out of it. So Maya has the story. Lula Boutique is run by the senior, Ire Aluko. She produces various types of keychains, full charms, and bracelets that is made for anyone. Um, the name basically just comes from my name. Uh, it's a mix of my first name and my second and third middle names. E. Ray noticed that I was struggling with my lanyard, and so she went home and made this lanyard. Uh, my favorite color is purple, and gave it to me to have, and I've been wearing it for a year and a half now. E. Ray uses various kinds of beads to increase her energy and develop remarkable attributes that make your day. I think it's really cool how like a student like has her, uh, her own business and like it's just so creative like I could never make like little phone charms or like bracelets or anklets. Uh, I pick up a lot of hobbies and this is one of the hobbies I picked up and it was actually something I stuck with for the past two years. Amazing like I don't know what other way to use but I think that's just super cool like taking the time out of your day to just find something that works for you and just going after it and then just and she stays on her grind that's why I see. We were in class yesterday, and she was literally making the beads in class. Like, she stays on her grind. You guys can follow my Instagram. It's L-U-W-A-B-I-T-I dot jewelry. And you guys can DM me to order. Signing off from The Flash, this was Samaya with the help from Winnie. If you want to buy from E-Ray, it would be great for the holiday season. Jewelry is a great gift. I would love to get one wrapped under the tree. Speaking of wrapped, Spotify wrapped just came out, and I've listened to over 95 days worth of music. I only listened to 24. Oh. Well, Sam and Uni went around asking how much other people listen to. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for the credits. What's good, ESU? My name's Uni. And I'm Sam. And welcome back to our third episode of Zap Snap, where we take a snapshot into a student's daily life. Today, we're going to be looking at people's Spotify rap. Let's go. Uh, what's your name? Momo. And who was your top artist of your Spotify rap this year? The Seraphim. How many minutes did you listen to? 138,763, that's 96 days. Oh my god, that's three months. Okay, and how did you feel about your Spotify app this year? Everything was good, except for my podcast. That was a, that's a really bad part. Can I ask about your podcast? No. 
What's your name? Brooklyn. And who is your top artist for Swap My Rep this year? Um, Billie Eilish. Um, what was your top song? Never Felt So Long by Labyrinth. That's, that's a good choice. How do you feel about your Swap My Rep this year? Do you feel like it was pretty good this year? I feel like I listened to a lot more music than just that, but... What's your name? Otar. Otar, do you have Spotify? No. Okay, do you use Apple Music? Yeah. And do you feel left out that people use Spotify and you use Apple Music? Gotcha. Alright, who's your most listened to artist? Um, Rob Williams. And what's your, what's your uh, top song? Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Alright, thank you. So, um, apparently he lied. You don't have Broadway. I don't know why you're trying to be aesthetic. He has Drake and his top song is uh, So So by Oma J. Alright? Uh, don't lie, keep it a buck next time, alright? Thank you.